hi good day everyone today's topic is about the primary cementing uh, we'll learn about why the primary cementing is done and what is the operational procedure for primary cementing and uh, then we'll look at into some of the additives that are used to prepare the primary cement and so we'll talk about the different cementing and additives and you know their effect on the cementing uh, job and so on and once the cement job is done we need to know how we can evaluate it like whether it was successful it was not successful whether it can really perform you know the job so we need to evaluate that cement so we'll do that so first we'll introduce the primary cementing their operational procedure we look for the additives and then we go for its evaluation and so on in this work presentation uh, first i will introduce what is primary cementing we'll discuss its operational procedure and based on the operation operational procedure we'll discuss what kind of calculations are needed to perform those operational procedures and then we'll go ahead and talk about the properties because as you know the oil well is has a different pressure and temperature at different depths for example if you are at 500 feet down the, uh, the well properties are different than when you are 2000 feet down the pressure and temperature are changing so what kind of properties we need in order to you know do so those changes and what kind of additives are available that uh, can be used to achieve those required properties so actually all these topics are c connected to each other we are in 2021 right now but the op the primary cementing job still face a lot of operation problems so we we'll look into it, what kind of operational problems that we have here and then we'll talk about some of the new additives the researchers are talking in 2021 especially the nano additives uh, then we'll go for the new technologies what new technologies in primary cementing we are looking at and what researchers around the world are working on and then in the end we'll talk about the case studies and so on let's first look at what is the primary cementing as we all know that in the oil well or the gas well as we dig deeper you know the oil there is a big chance that this hole may collapse later on or you know there is a fresh water formation or maybe there is a very abnormally pressured zone so there are multiple reasons that this pressure this pressure this hole needs to be you know controlled in certain way so how we control it we put the plumbing system using casing and then tubing so on so we use those pipes you see these pipes inside this hole so that we can control prevent the fresh water contamination we control the very high abnormal pressures or if there's chance that there's un any unconsolidated formation and it can close the well so there's also also we don't want this oil zone to go up and then move on the right side mix with the fresh water and do not reach to the surface so in for all those reasons we need to put this casing down so once you do put this casing down inside the hole this casing is is loose you know it's loose it can move here and there so we need to fix it so how we fix it we put the cement between the casings so here you see that we have casing then we have cement then we have casing cement and so on so this is the first one then then this is the second one then this is the third one all of them are cemented properly and uh, so therefore the primary job of this cementing job is to support and fix those casings as you see here this is the first job the another big job is to provide the zonal isolation for example if there's the oil well here it should not go from this zone and go back here so we once this are fixed we can you know cements are fixed here then there's proper zone isolation and oil will only move inside the tubing or inside the hole properly that we say that also not only this but if as you know these casings are very heavy so this cement actually helps to you know support the the load axial load of those casings so that's one of the function that they do that so this is about the primary cementing job but what happens after five years or ten years or fifteen years this casing can be corroded can have you know small holes so in this case what we do we do the squeeze cementing in that purpose so squeeze cementing is a remedial job is a secondary cementing job purpose is to fix whatever problem has arised in cementing after the prime cementing was done and then we have another kind of cement is called plug cementing and why we do the plug cementing for example after 20 years the well is abandoned like you you don't you no longer need this well so what you'll do you bring the cement fix it and here right now in united states more than 10000 wells are waiting to be plugged 
because the owner has left the well and they are now uh, orphan well and uh, nobody is interested because they are not producing oil or gas but you know sometimes the secondary gas channels are created and there's a lot of methane emission in the united states because the wells are not closed properly after they are left alone so that's the reason they need to plug those wells and there are more than 10,000 wells that needs to be plugged here and so on so now we'll talk about how this primary cementing job works for primary cementing job to work we need a surface facility and then we need a downhole facility so in the surface facility is the same uh, yeah is the same cement dry cement that you use at your uh, home making process so it has different properties but it looks like the same and when we mix with water it is called a slurry so a slurry is formed by mixing the cement with water at the surface here and uh, so what we do we have cement dry cement and then we have a uh, uh, water we mix them we create a slurry and then we change their properties based on uh, what you can say the depth where you are injecting because the temperature is different the depth is different so you basically varies those properties and so on so these are the surface facilities where we need a lot of trucks mixing mixers hydraulic jet mixers recirculating mixers batch mixers to make this slurry job so once this slurry we calibrate it with the additives because you are sending them at certain depth where temperature is different and then you go on with the primary cementic job now this was the surface facility when we talk about the bottom hole facility or subsurface facility there are five main things that are going on first of all this casing with whatever your whatever casing you want to you cement it it needs to be centralized it has to be in center if this cement casing goes on side the other side will get a lot of cement and the one side will get no cement so in this case your cement job is poor and will create problems later on so we don't want that so in order to keep this casing in the center we have a centralizer which keeps the casing in the center once in this casing is set down it has a float collar at the bottom or the float shoe guide shoe and float float collar at the same time the purpose is has the float collar has is a one way wall you can see here so whatever you inject from here to here it will go down but it cannot go back up so the purpose is a one way wall in the float collar and once we install the float collar we inject our cement slurry as you can see here and we'll put the the bottom the top plug the purpose of top plug is to to push this cement slurry down so that it can go on the side of it now this top plug or the bottom plug they are both made of rubbers and they are drillable so for example you finish your job you can continue drilling and the bit will actually drill all of them and then continue drilling so on so that's the the surface subsurface facility and the surface facility here as you can see here and so on so now i will share with you a video and overall process how the operation of primary cementing is conducted let's look at it the surface facility first now the the surface truck has came any company can bring it for example Halliburton or you know they can bring their cementing truck and you know so here in this picture animation you can see we have casing cement casing cement casing cement so overall process is goes like this and this is the top view you can see here we have a large casing then we have a cement so there are multiple cementing jobs that we are doing there at the same time once the drilling you drill the well hole you need to sand this casing down once you sand this casing down it has to be in the center it should not be on site so in order to keep them in center we use centralizers on sites so mm, this is the one equipment to be used the other user is this guide shoe and the float collar so here it is we have a float collar it has a one-way valve the purpose of this valve is to s anything you send from top to bottom it can go but cannot go back in a reverse flow in this direction so here you can see here float shoe and then we have a float collar here all this assembly so now they will put back the mud here okay, this is the annular space this is the casing so this is the mud here now we don't want this mud to be contaminated with the cement because cement has to be pure if it is contaminated mud you can cement will lose its properties and cement job will be bad so what we do in this case once this mud is there 
we want to circulate the spacer in between so they will now prepare the spacer first from the surface facility and inject it there so now they are injecting the this the spacer fluid the purpose of the spare spacer fluid is to act as a transition between the drilling mud and the cementing at the same time that you will see in the animation so here's the truck where we have a dry cement they brought the dry cement they mix with water and of course you know all those properties they take it to the laboratory they settle down those properties uh, they learn that what kind of property they want to keep they test them everything and then they bring to the to the well site and perform the cementing job for example especially the compressive strength and so on so now there's a mud inside they are injecting the spacer spacer is a special fluid it's a low dense fluid the purpose is to separate cementing the spacer and the drilling mud so now what this cement this spacer is doing this is pushing the drilling mud to the surface so this spacer is pushing drilling mud to the surface so after that we have a bottom plug so bottom plug was basically pushing and now we have a cementing cement goes on here now cement is followed by the top plug so the top plug will basically push now here you can see this is all the system is working at the surface cementing unit and uh, now 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 you see the cementing then we have a lead slurry and we have the tail slurry in lead slurry the properties are different than the tail slurry depending on the depth you where you are injecting so now you are injecting the cement and now you see there is a top plug is coming is pushing it down pushing it down so all cement now is went back on the side here and that's how the drilling and then you are injecting the mud again okay after and then you allow the cement to settle down after some time once the cement is settled you can perform the drilling job again and, uh, and so on so this is the simplest form of uh, you know the primary cementing process and operational procedure once this yeah, here it is it means that now you increase the pressure to rupture them so that's the overall process of the primary cementing job once the this whatever primary su success uh, primary cementing job you saw its success or failure you know it all depends on its calculations you have to be very precise very careful in whatever calculations you do for the primary cementing job so in the next video we'll talk about the calculations needed for the primary cementing job and uh, i'll also share the answers wherever they are available online in the references uh, to perform those calculations so please uh, like my channel and uh, subscribe and support this channel so that i can do a better job thank you so much